Hi friends! Today we're going to be segmenting and counting syllables. So your objective is you will be able to identify syllables and words. That means you're going to be listening for different parts of a word. So why is this important? Well, listening for syllables inside of a word will help us be better listeners, better readers, and better spellers. First, we're going to listen for parts of words. Then after you can hear the parts of words, we'll connect those parts to different letters that make different sounds and we'll build all the way up until we're really, really great readers and spellers. So if you can hear individual sounds like ah, then you'll be able to read them in small words like b, at, bat. And then we'll be able to put words and syllables together like bat, man into longer words like Batman. Okay, so the only tool that you need today at home is your ears. Okay, you're going to be listening today. So you'll need your ears. You'll actually also need your hands to help you do some, some um, syllable identification. So let's talk about that now. Syllables. That means we're going to be listening for parts of words. Now you have a couple of tools at home that can help you do that. The first way we can listen for syllables is we can put our hand right underneath our chin and we can listen for the parts of the words. Our chin is, we can also call this a syllable counter because it will magically tell you how many syllables you have in a word. So watch me. If I put my hand underneath my chin and I say, bat man. How many times did my chin go down? Watch me again. Bat man. Two times because there was two syllables in the word Batman. It has two parts. Let's use our fist like we do in school sometimes. You guys have done this with me. And we can pound our other hand or you can pound on a desk or a table by you. And you can break up the word that way too. Ready? Bat man. How many times did you pound your fist there? Bat man. Two. There are two syllables in the word bat man. The last way you can use your hands to help you count syllables or to break syllables apart is by clapping. So we can do the same thing. Even though when we say the word Batman, we say it really fast, if you slow down, you'll be able to hear the different syllables or parts of the word. Ready? Batman. How many times did I clap? Two. Batman. Okay, so we can use our chin. Batman. Our fist, Batman, or our hands to clap, Batman. All right, so you choose which one's going to work for you, and let's take a look at some pictures here. Okay, I'll do the first one as an example. How many syllables do you hear when you say this word? What is this a picture of? Pencil. All right, I'm going to use my chin to start. Pencil. Let me try and count with my other hand. Pencil. How many syllables did you hear? Pencil. Two. I heard two syllables in the word pencil. What picture do you see now? Truck. Did you hear that? Truck. Go ahead and count how many syllables you hear in truck. 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 Just one syllable in the word truck. Okay. What do you see in this picture? A computer. How many syllables do you hear in computer? Now, you might have to say the word slowly so you can hear all the different parts. I'm going to use my chin to count. Ready? Computer. Let me use my hands to clap and try. Computer. I hear three syllables in computer. Hmm. What is this a picture of? A basketball. Let's use our syllable counter to hear how many sounds, I'm sorry, how many syllables we hear in the word basketball. How many parts do you hear? Basketball. That was three again. Let me try it with clapping. Basketball. Three. We got it. Three syllables in basketball. 
Okay, how many syllables do you hear in the word door? Door. Not three, it should just be one. I was, Miss Weinberger was trying to trick you there. All right, let's try this one. How many syllables do you hear in the word bubble? Bubble. Bubble. Should be two. There are two syllables in the word bubble. Okay, what do you see now? Good, it's a tomato. Let's use our syllable counter to say the word tomato. How many syllables did you hear? Let's try pounding it this time. Tomato. What did you hear? Three. Three syllables in. Oh, I almost hit my computer. Tomato. Three syllables. Okay, I think this might be the last one. What do you see? Flower. Good. Let's count the syllables in flower. You try this one on your own and let's see if you guys get it. Did you hear two syllables? Flower. Then you got it. Thumbs up. Oh, one more. Oh, oh, I didn't even know that it did that. That was super fancy, wasn't it? I have no idea what that is, but that picture right there is a mug. <laughs> This is the word mug. Let's tap either clap or pound or use your syllable counter to tell me how many syllables you hear in the word mug. Did you do it when I clapped? Ready? Mug. 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 There's only one syllable in the word mug. Good job. All right, so that was exciting. There were some things we weren't expecting, right? But you guys did a great job using your syllable counter, your chin, using your fists to pound, or using your hands to clap your sounds. So now it's gonna be your turn at home to try this. Here's what I want you to do on Dojo, on your Dojo account. I'm gonna send you an activity and I want you guys to show me how you can count syllables at home. So there's a couple of things you can do. You can either use your name and try clapping the syllables in your name, or you can find something around the house, like this is a glass, right? So I could try it with the word glass, glass. There's one syllable in the word glass. Or I could try it with my name, right? I can do Miss Weinberger. That's probably a lot of syllables. Let's try it, ready? Miss Weinberger. How many was that? Weinberger. Three syllables in my name. So on your activity at home, I want you to either try your name or you can find something around the house and I want you to tell me how many syllables do you hear in the word that you picked, okay? Thanks guys, bye.